This morning in New Mexico, a community in terror, fearing a possible serial killer is on the loose and gunning down Muslim men after a string of what authorities are calling targeted killings across Albuquerque. Police now on the hunt for this vehicle. If you see a dark colored four door sedan, uh, Volkswagen, Passat or Jetta, we encourage you to call the police. The latest victim was shot dead Friday. Authorities have yet to name him, but his family identifying him as 25 year old Naeem Hussein. His brother in law telling NBC News Naeem's friends found his body around midnight in a parking lot east of the city. They went, approached the vehicle and saw Naeem and they opened the door. As soon as they touched him, he, he slouched over and fell over. And was he shot multiple times? The friends that saw the body, they said it was a headshot, so I don't know if it was a single shot or if it was multiple shots. A spokesperson for the community tells NBC News hours before his murder, Naeem had attended the funeral service mourning two of the other murder victims, Mohammed Afzal Hussein and Aftab Hussein, both shot and killed days before in separate attacks. I remember seeing him at the funeral and all I told him was, hey, just look out, be careful. All three were from Pakistan, all with the last name Hussein. Authorities now circling back to see if those murders are in any way linked to the Albuquerque killing of Mohammed Ahmadi in November of last year, gunned down outside his family's store. Ahmadi's family say they're now living in fear. Everybody is scared. They say we are not safe anymore. Some people, they already want to leave the, the city. Vowing justice, the state governor calling in the FBI and additional state police. Small comfort to a tight-knit community in mourning now also feeling under attack. It's devastated. Being shot in that brutal manner is it, just the most un-American thing to do to anybody um, and the most un inhumane thing to do to anybody. Over the weekend, President Biden tweeting that he's angered and saddened by the, quote, horrific killings, adding these hateful attacks have no place in America. Fearing this could be the work of a serial killer, some members of Albuquerque's Muslim community are too afraid to leave their homes for groceries. So the mayor says he's arranging for hot meals to be brought straight to their doorsteps. Savannah. All right. We'll continue to keep an eye on that investigation. Aaron, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.